Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm popping in for a second because I wanted to film a quick April homeschool goals. The kids are ready to go and play and have fun at Nanny and Pop Pop's house today, but I did such a good job. I feel like the March goals were so good for me and I accomplished all of them. Um, I kept it quite simple and uh, I did really well with that. So I wanted to keep this thing up. So um, it is April now and I have a three or four, wait, four, three or four, wait, four. <laughs> I have four homeschool goals that I wanted to share so that this could keep me accountable. I like it. I like it. So the first goal that I have is to reevaluate our curriculum. So um, I noticed a lot of different things um, while going through our same set of resources that I have been using for curriculum and um, I just want to freshen that up a bit maybe grab a few more apps to kind of help us keep going because a lot of the apps that we have been using that I haven't really shared yet but um, I shared some of the basic apps that we used in the past but I haven't really shared any of the updated apps that we use to help us with curriculum so I need to do that but I didn't want to do that because I knew I'd be changing some things up um, fairly soon and so soon is now so I'm going to be doing that this month so that hopefully we can start to implement those things towards the end of the month and the beginning of May so that is my very first goal is to really get on to that curriculum research yeah <laughs> that's my first goal so going along with that, one of the things that I am feeling like would be important for me to do right now is to take some heavy one-on-one -on -one time with each of the kids so that I can do a better job at selecting some of the apps and the other programs and things like that. I just want to make sure that um, some of the things that I have planned out for us to work on are, I'm not forcing them to continue to work on when they have moved past it or maybe they need to step behind it a little bit. So I think that having that one-on-one -on -one time will help me really to focus in on what they are doing well at and what they need a little help in or if I just need to change up their studies a bit or add a few more things to their curriculum um, based on some of the things that I've noticed. Um, about them and their interest in things like that. So for instance, um, my middle son Kendall is really, really wonderful at languages. And I'm starting to notice we don't do um, our language study like I expected we would in the very beginning. Um, and that's fine, but I do notice that I think it's something I definitely need to include more of for his curriculum and his course study. So I might wanna look into something a little bit different or a little bit more aggressive for him. Um, so I think that the one-on-one -on -one time will really help me to make a better decision of the things that I'd like to include in their individual paths. So you guys know we like to do a lot of our um, schoolwork together as a team, but I do want to start paying attention to some of those things that um, they can work on separately um, based on their strengths and their interests. Does that make sense? Anyway, so I want to include more one-on-one -on -one time in April. And um, I'm actually having the perfect opportunity come along because um, Brian is going to be out of town and we're going to take a little staycation to Nana and Pop Pop's house. We're going to be staying there for a week, which is great because I can put our next unit, which is the color unit, um, I can put it on hold until we get back. And for the next week, I will really focus on getting in that one-on-one -on -one time during our school days so that I can take lots of notes and so that that time will be very helpful for me for when I am looking for the new curriculum pieces for them. So that is my second goal is more one-on-one -on -one time in April. My third goal is going to be another field trip. So we did an awesome job. We actually got in not one, but two field trips in March. And so I'm really excited about that. And so I want to keep this thing rolling because we really enjoy that. And um, 
like I said, the next unit we have coming up is our color theory unit. So I thought it would be wonderful if we went to visit the Crayola factory. So I'm really excited about that and that is going to be our field trip for April. I'm not exactly sure when we're going to be going in April, but I know that's going to be our field trip in April and things may change, but for now that is the plan. And then my last, my fourth and last goal is going to be to finish our homeschool studio. So if you guys are following along, then you know that we've been working on uh, switching up the garage and kind of freshening it up a bit and creating a space, a creative space. I just wanted to have a space where they could come out here and make messes and not be concerned with cleaning them up right away because I don't want the mess in my house. So <laughs> I'm really excited about this space and I want to use the rest of April to go ahead and just do some finishing touches and making it more functional. So that is kind of our homeschool goal and the kids are going to do that with me. Um, so that'll be like our little project for the rest of April. Short and sweet, those are my four goals for April and I was wondering what kind of goals are you guys setting for this month. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I think that's pretty much it you guys. I will see you in our next video. Bye! Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Visit our blog at serenabblog.com backslash homeschool. Follow us on Instagram at serenab and leave a comment to say hi. Bye.